Danny, Paul Crap was a real player. Why would anyone sign him? He was signed by Awful FC, but that's when they were managed by Barry Rubbish. How rubbish is Barry Rubbish? He's a 2-4-3 system. But that doesn't add up to 10. That's how rubbish he is. <laughs> they were 2 nil down once, after no minutes. Isn't that it would have been better off if they hadn't signed Jeff always stuck in the toilet? Absolutely. <laughs> You love swimming. Come on. Come on. Time to have fun. Come on. Let's just get, let's just get our feet wet. Look. Just one foot. One foot. One foot. Come on. Just one foot. Come on. OK. OK. Whoa! Come on, Tony. Let's have some splashy fun. Yeah, there you go. You love that, don't you? Oh, great, isn't it? You love swimming, don't you? Oh, maybe we should sing the, the Dingle and Dangle Scarecrow song. Rosie, don't bite mummy. Don't bite mummy. No, no snorgling. Shall we just go? No, she loves swimming. We'll stay here until she has some swimming fun. Ah, no, Rosie. Rosie, start enjoying yourself. Do you understand? Sorry, excuse me, but Max was playing with that. We shouldn't really be snatching. What's wrong with some people? What's wrong? How long have you got? Oh, uh, what? I'm really sorry. It's OK, darling. The little girl just didn't realise that Sharky was yours. I think she go. Ben, gonna go. Well done, Ruth. Ruin it again. I don't know what you're pointing at, Rosie. No, Rosie, come on, come on. Is everything okay? Yes, fine, yeah. We uh, brought her here for a treat. If you just hold her up. I am. You know, the mistake we've made, we thought that the swimming pool is Rosie's favourite place. It turns out it's the place she absolutely hates most in the world. All right, just put your arms through, darling. I don't understand. Do you think that her brain is going through the terrible twos? <coughs> Only with the body of an eighth-level barbarian. Strength, constitution, dexterity, all 18. And intelligence, three. Yeah, but charisma, 18. A definitely alignment, chaotic good. Well, you've actually thought about this, haven't you? You've probably worked out what Dungeons & Dragons characters we'd all be. Yeah, of course. Am I an elf warlock? Oh, well, yeah. And then just add something stupid like a druid. Yeah, orc druid. Oh, you're such a sad little dork. So lucky that found you and took you in. Cast a druid spell, you mean, so Mum wouldn't be put off by her ugliness. A charm of unvomiting. Well, she's definitely not intelligence three. I mean, yeah, she's never going to win the chase, but her cognition is way beyond her communication. Really? Yeah, but you saw when she was pointing. It's not that she hated swimming, it's that she just wanted to go somewhere else. All right, so we're all idiots. Yeah, I just think we need to find better ways of problem solving to find out what Rosie wants. What Rosie wants? I think most psychologists would go for mini cheddars. <laughs> oh, no, don't kick it. Come on, come on, head through. And the noise he makes when he's eating at his desk. How do you slurp a dry biscuit? It sounds like he's going down on a hobnob. <laughs> oh, and that scent he wears. Honestly, it's like Lynx Estonia. I'm worried the plants in the office might die. Genuinely, he uses so much, I think he might have buried a body and needs to mask the smell. <laughs> I need you to come back soon, mate. Any ideas how much more maternity leave you're taking? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can come back.
boy. I'm gonna come and play with you in a minute. Hi, Arm. Why haven't you been answering? Robert's reception, sorry. What was it? The health visitor wants to come on Thursday. That's pretty Friday, we're really up against it. What if it's first thing? I'm not good at this sort of meeting. Some poor face do good. I'm going through the recycling bin, counting bottles. She wants to come check on Rosie. I don't think I'm free. Well, can you come to the hospital appointment on the 22nd? What was that one? It's the geneticist. You have to be there because they need a DNA sample from all of us. Oh, well, in that case, I just need a cubicle and a Wi Fi password. It's a blood sample. It was a joke. I could see if I can move some stuff around. It's for Rosie. Just do it. Okay. Bye. 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 You know, those solicitors have phoned you up asking if you've had an accident that wasn't your fault. Eh, hey, Rosie counts. I can get some money. They could put a health and safety warning sign up by Emily's vagina. All fun back at the ranch. Fuck it, Al. It's like two co-workers who don't get on running a nursery. Ofsted rate is poor. Co-workers? And you do... what? Well, yeah, she does most of the work. I'm more, I'm more of a mood merchant. Mm, you're ahead of vibes. No. It's just all so fucking serious all the time. I think parenting is supposed to be. What about going away? Like a country hotel, dirty weekend? I'm flattered, Hells, but I don't think it'd feel right between us. You're Ben's godmother. Hilarious misunderstanding, Si. Hang on. Why aren't I Rosie's godmother? God had nothing to do with that. Seriously? Take Emily away somewhere. If you're gonna sit in Teshi's silence, you might as well do it somewhere with a nice bar. Speaking of which, I had an insane date on Tuesday. Guess where he suggested we meet? A million guesses. HMS Belfast. Genuinely. So, we met at 6.30. If we went away, she'd insist on bringing the kids. Sorry, Si. Forgot we're only allowed to talk about you. <laughs> All right, OK, we stop. We stop swimming now, Rosie. We've stopped going swimming. What did you want to do? What did you want to do, darling? Did you want to go swimming or to the park? Did you want to go swimming or to the park? Good girl. Good girl. Rosie, would you rather go to the park or eat a bucket of sick? Rosie, who do you love more? Daddy or the poopy monster? So maybe I actually understood that one. There must be a way of finding out what Rosie wants to do. I mean, at school they've got um, a board with pictures, you know, like um, playground and the gym and sensory room. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we could, you know, find pictures of, like, the swimming pool, the library, the snakes playground, the paddling pool, Forrester Tees. Why don't I go and take those pictures now? You can use me your phone. Oh, yeah, then I can take the kids back and give them lunch. Well, you know, I can't drive. I'm being helpful. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. See you later, kids. So, I, I think we're just going to, like, print them out and staple them in a booklet. I don't think we're going to exhibit them anywhere. I didn't realise there was homework. What? Well, whatever the doctor is about to tell me will only make me love you even more. Hello. I'm Dr Pritchard, one of the genetics doctors here. Hello, Emily. So you're like Professor Xavier. From the X-Men. Please, take a seat. And let's have a look at Rosie, is it? Rosie, if we went out again later, where would you want to go? What does Rosie want? I want... Why 
One. Two. Man. One, two, man. One, two, man. One, two, man. What does that mean, Rosie? One, two, man. Come on, eat your fish finger, hun. It's full of omega juice. It's good for the brain. Mm. One, two, man. Is that songs? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Mm. Oh, you can't just eat chips, Rosie. Mm. Is one, two, man a different song? Is it the rollover song? There were ten in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <coughs> there were nine in the bed and the... Mum, I really don't think it's the one about people falling out of the bed. Yeah, but you love that song, right? I mean, I'm partially singing it for you. Okay. Yeah, she keeps writing one two man on the AAC. Has she done that with you? Uh, no, what does that mean? I don't know. I thought it was maybe songs, you know, one two buckle my shoe, but she doesn't seem terribly bothered. One two man. Maybe it is songs, maybe she wants that guy that runs a group at the library. The one that will sell his soul to be in kids' telly. Yes, that makes sense. Ah, not just a pretty face. I'm not saying I can read minds, but I think I can read hearts. All right, Deanna. As in Troy, not Princess of Hearts. Where are you? Just in the Forest of Tees. Might as well get some more of these pictures. I'm on a roll. All right, then. See you in a bit. OK, bye. Bye, bye. Ben, um, see if you can get the library up on Street View. <laughs> uh, it's Grand Gandalf. Is he one too, man? <laughs> All right. Um, find Albert Street Library. Huh? Is it the library? Mm. Okay, put in Mark Cross, sing along a song time. Oh, that's him. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I suppose that he was wrong. Have a look at her search history. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Maybe we shouldn't let her go on the iPad so much. I get an hour a day. Well, you've got homework. I think Rosie could do with it more than me. I know, sweetie. I know life is hard. Gosh, how does she find all this? What's the most recent stuff uh, she's been watching? Alphabet songs. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Hippo doing a poo. Mm -hmm. Videos of sweet corn. Mm -hmm. More letter songs. People at the gym. Russian news readers, more videos of sweet corn, mm. Peppa Pig World. <sighs> Anything with numbers? Yeah, number songs. Okay. Is it this? Is it number song? Mm. 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 So she's in the ninth percentile for weight and the second percentile for height, but um, all her head measurements are below the second percentile. Yes, I think I can agree there's pronounced microcephaly. I think there are potential indications of, you know, dysmorphia. Does she have circulatory issues? Yeah, yeah, she gets cold peripheries. OK, oh, thank you, Rosie. So the next step will be to find the cause of the microcephaly. Now, it's standard to get the parents to complete a questionnaire. Uh, questions are routine. Were there any infections during the pregnancy? Any alcohol misuse? Tell me or her. We'd be more concerned with your wife in that case. We'll also do an MRI scan of your daughter's brain. Is that to um, check to see if there are any structural abnormalities? Yes. There can be rare causes, such as prenatal stroke, that we need to rule out. However, a genetic cause is more likely. Now, there are no genetically inherited conditions in your history. So, a random event, such as microdeletion or microduplication, is more likely. Uh, that there may be a part of a chromosome missing or one with an extra bit of material or, or something out of sequence. So she might be an X-Man. I don't think she's got any superpowers, though. 
Unless you can have really massive bowel movements. Does she have unusual bowel movements? No, it's just cute. I'm joking. Sorry. Um, so what would this genetic testing involve? Let me just get some consent forms. Don't apologise for me. I'm trying to concentrate on what you're saying. Now, what I would say is there are literally billions of potential genetic complications. It's unlikely that these tests will provide any quick, easy answers. Now, our greatest diagnostic tool when it comes to a developmental delay is time. Your daughter may just be slow or may have an abnormal condition. If she consistently fails to meet milestones over a period of time, then we might start getting excited. Sorry. Did you just say excited? OK, well, these are the forms. Uh, I'll need your signatures. My daughter's mentally disabled. Oh, no, she's not here, she's at home. So, why are you taking pictures of these children? I'm not. I mean, I, I am, but it, it's because I need a picture of a paddling pool. I'm making a book. Um, I can pixelate their faces. Which ones are yours? Don't want me to delete them. Look creepy, do I? God, I can't believe I'm married to you. Oh, no, this is hardly the face of a sex monster. Oh, I think having an iPhone full of pictures of graves and semi naked children doesn't help. They are tasteful. Inconceivable anyone could think that of me. Of any parent. I mean, once you have them in bed and asleep, the last thing anyone wants to do is wake them up. Hmm. <sighs> Do you want to sign up for this 100,000 genome project? What is it? It's the new national program for rare genetic conditions. I mean, all we can hope for from the docs is really that they keep testing and testing and testing and testing, and then maybe one day they'll be able to say for certain that it's all your fault. Mm. Mm, yes. And it's so, so not my fault. Well, I feel bad. Okay. But it, it really is, and it's far more likely that it's one of your, you know, Little greedy little little I know. crappy little sperms that somehow just, you know, through sheer <laughs> effort somehow managed to win the race. That would be a bit like the underdog, a bit like the underdog of sperm, like the Leicester City of sperm. Mm. It'd be good to get some answers though, wouldn't it? Sure. Yeah? Can I make an appointment? Mm. I mean all, all the the reason Tests, you know, the Re Rubenstein, Taby, Angleman, are just guesswork. What they need to do is kind of work out what lack of chromosome means you're obsessed with videos of women on treadmills, Croatian clips on how pasta is made, and uh, songs about x rays. Hmm. One to man. She just, she keeps typing it. It's not the library. Okay. Are you going to obsess about this all night? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think it's the snakes' playground. The snakes have got numbers on them. Look. Look. Why man? Don't know. Maybe because there's no button for snake. Do you think that's it? Will it mean I can listen to the match analysis? Yeah, it could be the snakes' playground. Yeah, could be, couldn't it? You're such an adorable dog. <laughs> Excited? What do I mean excited? Well, he's going to sell her to a Victorian freak show. 
Well, she's his elephant man. No, he's just a geneticist. He thinks he's gonna get a syndrome named after him. Well, I think there's probably already a Pritchard syndrome. Well, boo-hoo, he's gonna have to have Pritchard 2 syndrome like when you're too late getting an email account. She's not some specimen to be probed and prodded. She's our daughter. Seriously, it doesn't even matter what she's got. Well, yes. She's just a rosy, that's all. Her condition might be linked with other problems. Cardiac, renal, neurological. So we'll deal with it if it happens, as long as we love her. Don't need some dork trying to solve her like a Sudoku. Well, I do. You know, all the touchy-feely bullshit, that's brilliant. But if there's some little rain man somewhere who wants to spend his time shifting through Rosie's DNA to get his eureka moment, then great. OK, so you're fine with him getting excited? Yes, I am. I am fine with it, cos I want to get excited. I want him to solve it because I want to solve it. Mm -hmm. So is that all this is about, all these tables and graphs and lists? Cos it looks like you're revising for an exam. It's what I do. I find answers. And right now, I don't even know what the fucking questions are. So is that all Rosie is to you, just a problem to solve? No. I just want to know that one day there will be something that I can solve. Well, I can't deal with this. I just can't deal with it. You're right, Rosie. Mm. We thought it might be a problem derby, full of bloody fun of it, and it didn't disappoint. I want to go out. <laughs> well, Daddy's just watching this. Mum and Ben will be over about. We'll go out then, okay? Mm. No, Rosie. Mm. Naughty Rosie. Mm. What's one of the rules? Never hurt the telly. Telly's our friend. The telly is like a parent. You do not throw shoes at the telly. <coughs> ah! All right, all right, all right. All right, we'll go out. Come on. Where do you want to go? Is it one, two, man? Is it, is it the snakes playground? Hmm? Shall we try the snakes playground? One, two, three? One, two, three? Yeah? I've literally no idea what you want, honey bunny. No biting, no, no, no. Come on. Hey. Hi, mate. Hey. Right, you just stay there till you figure out what you want. Muggins again, looking after the munchkins. Yeah, Emily's dragged Ben out, shopping for school shoes. I just packed Claire off for a spa day. Right. Yeah, just grabbing some fresh air before the match starts. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, I hear they're going to drop Farrell, bring George Ford in. We've got to sort out that scrum half situation before the Tri Nations. It's ridiculous. Oh, right. Now I was talking about uh, Liverpool West Brom. The 12 30 kickoff. The... Oh, soccer. Yeah. It's just I'm more of an oval ball man myself. Right, I uh, better make sure she's not getting up to even more mischief. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's all right. Oh, it's all right. I'll take her. I miss your daddy. Yeah, I'm her dad. She can't talk. Uh, Seriously, I'm her, I'm her dad. I'm not a child snatcher. If it was, I wouldn't start with her. She's a nightmare. So I just. Stupid joke. Right. Rosie, hi. You okay? Hey, you hurt yourself? Yeah, she's just had a little punk. Oh. Sorry, I just didn't know. No, 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 it's fine. Best to check. It's just she's mentally disabled, so... I mean, mentally handicapped. Learning handicapped. Which one is it? Learning disabled. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you stink at fags. How's it going, Buffy? What? Buffy, the vampire slayer. You know... Well, the weight of the world on your shoulders, apparently. Yeah, well, that's how it seems. It was a joke, Em. Just tried a little joke. Whatever. Oh, lighten up. Just... lighten up. Let's go away.
country or town or something. A couple of days, just us. I can't. You know, I can't. I have to look after Rosie. Oh, where are your mum? A couple of days. A couple of days. You have no idea what it takes to deal with her. I deal with her. You don't. You can't deal with her. I can deal with Rosie. I can't fucking deal with you. Can you not swear in front of my children? Your children? Oh, they're your children now. Yeah. Yeah, I deal with them. They're my children. What I can't deal with, I can't deal with all the data and the, the lists. Oh, Jesus Christ, these lists. You are so fucking boring, Emily. Yeah, yeah, I'm really boring. I'm really boring. Yeah. I hate being boring, but, you know, I have to do the boring stuff, Si, because you don't. Oh, yeah, I'm useless. Fine, fine. If I'm, if I'm so useless, why don't you leave? Oh, I will. No, I will, Si. Just not top of my list. It's on my list, though. Seriously, do I look dodgy? <laughs> do I need to start carrying around a CRB certificate? <laughs> Wear it my arm like bouncers do. <laughs> oh, darling. Yeah, if, if the dark vigilantes of justice come to the door, we'll protect you, won't we? <laughs> I won't. Help! Help! He's keeping us prisoner! I want my real dad! You shut up or I'll send you out shoe shopping again. Don't even joke about that. One, two, man. Well, one, two, man hasn't got anything to do with the snakes playground, so you got that wrong. One, two, man. One, two, man. I don't think that it's one, two, man. I think the T goes with the one and the woo goes with the man. So it's like want woman, want, want woman. Rosie, do you want woman? <laughs> so, like, want, want woman. woman. Want, want woman. Want woman. So, oh, Rosie, do you want woman on the treadmill? <laughs> That's like proper cognitive thinking. How does she get to that? You solved the problem, you clever, clever one, boy. Two, Rosie, you clever girl. Clever, clever, clever girl. Aren't you? <laughs> She's mentally disabled. I mean, learning disabled. She has a thing about watching women on treadmills. She loves the videos of them on her iPad. One, two, one, two, three. I don't want you, but I hate to lose you. You got me in between, but I'm I guess I love